Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. So I'm here with the latest on what is happening across the tropics. And as we can see here, we have quite a bit going on. So there we have Hurricane Fiona, newly formed tropical depression number 8, uh, likely to become a tropical storm. And then we have a tropical wave that is a problem for the Caribbean. So that is going to be a little bit of the, uh, the focus of this video, really on that tropical with the chance significantly increased since this morning. And then there is that area that is highlighted off the coast of Africa and so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an update video and to show your support for the channel you can also leave a thumbs up all right and let's get into it starting off with that area that is highlighted off Africa and so uh, we are seeing here that there is a 20% chance that we could have development of a disturbance that is expected within the area and so uh, this is not likely to become anything very major I mean that is a region that has quite a bit of unfavorable conditions especially especially in terms of the sea surface temperatures. So it is not an area that is very warm, very conducive, but we could see some development uh, off the coast of Africa within that region. And so now let's go ahead and move on to the rest of these systems. And so we're looking at a wide view of infrared satellite right now off the North Atlantic Basin. So there we have Fiona churning just in the vicinity of the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Bahamas. There we have that tropical wave. And then we have uh, tropical depression number eight. So let's look at these systems close up here we have this tropical wave here again it is making its way towards the Caribbean and there are likely going to be impacts in the Windward Islands as well as portions of northern South America from this one and we'll delve more into details very shortly but let's take a look at the other systems so here we have Fiona and so right now it is likely that Fiona is undergoing an owl replacement cycle so it has not changed uh, in in terms of its wind speeds since this morning so it hasn't intensified but it is likely to as we progress throughout the rest of today and then there we have tropical depression number eight and we're seeing that it has some uh, thunderstorm activity associated with it all right and looking at tropical depression number eight we're seeing here that for the cone forecast it is expected to become a tropical storm likely acquiring the name gaston and it is not expected to be a threat to land it will make a close approach to the azores but isn't expected to become anything very major out there because of course conditions are not highly conducive uh, for for us to see any significant intensification of the system so current maximum sustained winds are 35 miles per hour and it is accelerated northward at 10 miles per hour and so moving on to Fiona so Fiona is a major hurricane of course the first of the hurricane season and it currently has maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour so as I said earlier it hasn't intensified since this morning uh, but we do have a hurricane warning which is still in effect for the Turks and Caicos Islands and a tropical storm warning which is in effect for the southeastern Bahamas and so it's likely that Fiona will remain a major hurricane and intensify all the way down uh, to near the end of the week and of course it should make that very close approach to the island of Bermuda which might be under a watch or a warning as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days. So Fiona is moving very slow within the area right now but it should pick up in its acceleration maybe by about uh, late tomorrow going into Thursday and eventually it is going to be moving very rapid up to the north. And then the main treat of this video, this tropical wave that is now given a high 80% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. So by tomorrow, it should make an approach to the Windward Islands and bring a lot of rainfall to the area. So if you're in the Windward Islands, you really want to look out for that happening because uh, periods of very heavy persistent rainfall is likely to result in flooding in some areas, guys. So please be aware of that happening. So this could really really develop into a tropical depression over the next couple of days and if we have depression 8 becoming Gaston which seems very likely at this point in time the next name to be used after that is Hermine and so we could be looking at future Hermine right now and areas such as Central America, Jamaica, even Cuba and the Cayman Islands should be keeping watch on this because it could possibly be a threat to those areas although nothing is solid right now. Nothing that we're seeing is guaranteed to take place because of course changes are inevitable and the system is still 
several days out. But one thing for sure is that all the shower and thunderstorm activity associated with it is going to be making its way towards the Winter Islands and bringing a lot of heavy rainfall starting tomorrow. And so now let's go ahead and look at how conducive conditions are across the Atlantic. So we're looking at the wind shear map. The red lines indicate unfavorable wind shear that is strong upper level winds that really displace convection and thunderstorms within cyclones and really prevent them from growing. We have the yellow lines that means that there is neutral shear not to impact full and cyclones but what tropical cyclones really want for development is favorable shear which is indicated by the green and so it is actually that uh, the tropical wave actually designated as invest 98L is going to be making its way into conducive conditions that will enable development of the system. We see some favorable shear extended across portions of the Caribbean but of course this is something that changes on a regular. And in terms of the dry air now, so the Saharan dust is not really a problem for the system right now. That is why it is thriving so much. That's why we see so much shower and thunderstorm activity associated with it, because that dry air intrusion is not really something happening right now. We see that little pocket of dry air to the north of it. Oh, and as for Fiona, it might be interesting a little bit, but not enough to cause any significant change in intensity. But, uh, but the main problem with Fiona from the start has been the wind shear. So, uh, but of course, the cyclone is expected to intensify into a category 4 hurricane. Alright, and so let's go ahead and take a look at ocean temperatures and ocean temperatures are very warm across the region. Uh, across the Caribbean, of course, uh, sea surface temperatures are highly conducive to enable intensification of the system and there is a chance that it could move into the Gulf of Mexico and we see that we have very favorable sea surface temperatures there. Again, tropical cyclones need at least 26, 26 and a half degrees Celsius and we have 29 and 30 degrees Celsius uh, across the area so very favorable in terms of the sea surface temperatures and as we look at the ocean heat content there we're seeing that so much energy is there in the northwestern caribbean uh, the caribbean on a whole so once we have the system uh, moving into the northwestern caribbean if that is going to be the track of it then it could significantly intensify and then again the gulf of mexico is one of those hot spots that we want to watch each hurricane season for significant intensification of tropical cyclones in terms of the intensity the various models that are available are expecting that are all anticipating that this will become a tropical storm and even a hurricane but we don't have a whole lot of models available right now so uh, as time goes by we'll see what the rest have to say but that is really what is on the horizon the tropics is coming to life so uh, when it was the peak of the hurricane season the statistical peak on the 10th of September there wasn't much activity going on and now here we have the activity so it doesn't mean that oh after the peak of the hurricane season there isn't going to be anything major because we've certainly seen late season storms be very destructive and uh, here we have Fiona right now here we have depression 8 and then this uh, wave accelerating towards the Caribbean is another potential tropical cyclone that we have to pay attention to but of course I'm going to be keeping you guys updated as time goes by and so if you have any questions uh, you can leave them down in the comments I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and of course remember to always be weather wise